Hello YouTube! I'm Mandy and this is Mandy's Makeup Adventures and on today's adventure we are talking about a very scary subject. It's not really scary, it's just makeup, but you know what? It's fun. It's fun and we're here to have, oh yeah, that's scary. That's a scary subject. Lipstick on your teeth. Scary, scary, scary shit. Oh, wait. I have to turn on the light on my bottle of booze. It's a bottle of booze. I think that's like, um, I don't know. It's just so cute. Anyway, <sighs> Chaos is saying hello. She says, you guys never pay attention to me. I'm the cutest cat on earth, especially at Halloween time because I'm a little black kitty. Come here, baby. Okay, guys. So for reals, what we're talking about is Forest Sang Cosmetics, the Poison Collection. Okay, so we have the whole collection here. Ah. And we have the whole collection here. So Forest Sing is a very interesting name for a company. I feel like we should research that at some point and figure out what the hell, hell that's about. It's a, such an interesting um, name. I like no idea what that might be about. Look at these gorgeous greens. Now you guys know that I love greens, right? We know this already. The This particular palette I am absolutely in love with and I'll tell you there are lots of reasons why I have lots of great green palettes, right? But this one has your mattes, shimmers, and glitters. And um, I find that usually a palette will either have one or the other that's really good. Um, it'll have either really good shimmers in green or really good glitters, but not both. I got all of those new um, stencils for swatches. Don't know where they are at the moment. So we're going to go old fashioned and just finger swatch. So guys, uh, this week has been crazy like all the weeks of my life seem to be. Um, my son Elijah who spent 17 days in the hospital earlier this month. Well, I guess it was like in September. So it was in September when he spent 17 days in the hospital before. And on Tuesday, his stomach hurt when he woke up and he had puked. And I had to go to work because I missed two weeks of work um, with him being in the hospital last time. So I took him to my mom's and my mom called while I was at work and said, I think this is his appendix. I think his appendix, um, I think he has appendicitis. I'm like... Are you flipping kidding me? For real? So, he had a treatment scheduled at the hospital and I was like, just take him in this afternoon for his treatment. I'm sure it's not that. There's no way it can be that. And as the day wore on, I was thinking to myself, did I make the right choice? Is he, you know, could he possibly have um, appendicitis? 
his father, who has the same condition he has, Alps disease, his father had appendicitis um, as a child as well. And so uh, as the day wore on, I was starting to think, oh my gosh, this could really be that. So sure as shit. He had appendicitis, guys. And the doctor who came in on Tuesday night was telling us all this stuff and they, that they might just leave it in there. I'm like, huh? My mom was like, mm, they don't usually do that. Like, just leave it in. And this doctor, she could tell that he was bullshitting because the night doctor didn't want to come in. And since they thought he wasn't going to die in the next few hours, that it could wait for the day shift. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm so easily like duped that I was like, no, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that, right? Yep, that's really basically what... So the doctor had me thinking... Maybe he doesn't have to have surgery and all of that. The next morning when, you know, the doctor is in, it's like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, and take his appendix today. No discussion, no anything. So isn't it interesting? The night shift didn't want to come in, so they made him wait so many hours for this procedure it's just doctors are so weird sometimes they do a great job and they save people's lives and stuff but it's like really because you didn't want to come in on the night shift that's that's what we're doing now so anyway uh he got out of the hospital finally yesterday and um, we're really kind of hoping that's it for the hospital this year, right? So, um, give me a like and a comment if you think my son should be done with the hospital this year. He's only 10 years old. He's been through so much. I really hope that, um, he doesn't have to keep returning to the hospital over and over and over again. So give me a like, give me a share, um... All of those things, if you think my son should not have to go through any more garbage this year. Like, at all. But, you know, usually on this channel, I can't get a like to save my life. I can't get a subscriber to save my life. I'm borrowing from um, Rich Lux now. I can't get a subscriber to save my life. Subscribe. It will make you feel better. It will definitely make me feel better. Okay, so this palette swatches amaze balls. It's so pretty. I don't know. I'll have to um, check when I'm editing if it's still available. If this is still available, guys, uh, run. Don't walk. Run and get this uh, palette. If you love greens, like I love greens, um, you need this palette in your life. I think it was like 25 bucks and it came in like two days time. I figured, you know, sometimes in the Halloween season, you'll buy things themed Halloween and they'll get here in November. Mm. You know who you are brands, but this one came super quick and it's amazeballs. You see how it swatches. So the colors are Venom, Acid, Toxic, Ivy, Virus, Poison. Sorry, the glitter had gotten in the letters, so I couldn't read that. Poison, Nerve Gas, Chemical, Gas Mask. Okay. So, I have to say, 
these grungy dark greens here. Um, nerve gas, chemical. Uh, I mean, hello. <clears throat> you never see that, that color of green. And I think it just, it's so nice to deepen up the edges for that drama factor for that um, super dark green vibe. Absolutely killing it. Absolutely love it. Um, and I, you know, it's, it's beautiful. And I don't think that I've seen that in other palettes. Now, what I will say is that I wish that this glitter right here, uh, gas mask, I wish it would have been at least a little bit different than this one, Poison, because it's just a slight, slight, slight difference where this one is a tiny bit lighter. I wish that this um, glitter would have been closer to these dark green colors. That would have made that perfection. Um, I love, love, love using glitters, and I think that it won't take me very long at all before I've used up the glitters in this palette because I love green so much. You guys know I do. So it's not just for um, Halloween either. Green is, first of all, green is all year type thing, um, but you've got several holidays that employ green um, in them. So we've got Christmas coming up. This is a beautiful Christmas palette. Beautiful. This is a beautiful St. Patrick's Day palette. It's absolutely amazeballs. So I don't know. I need to check out Forest Sing and see if they've still um, got that stocked. By the way, speaking of that sound, um, a lot of people did not like that from the first declutter video, and I didn't see that comment, and then I posted the second declutter video, and it had the tapping in it as well. The third declutter video will not have that, and we are shooting the third de declutter video this weekend. I'm so sorry. I keep doing things and hoping that my life calms down and that I don't have these emergencies pop up and it hasn't worked out like just emergency after emergency after emergency and it's just kind of been like an all year thing um I bought the highlighter that went with the collection as well and you can see she is blinding gorgeous um, I had wanted the Jeffree Star um, green highlighter. I think it's called Sour Ice or something like that. And, you know, it's so expensive. This was $10, and it is so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. I think it gives the perfect, um, it's like a little nod to green. It's just a little nod but I absolutely love the way that it looks because it makes me feel um, spooky. A little spooky. Um, the other thing that came, I think that this all came together in a bundle. If not, I just bought this stuff. Um, but this is the Anti-Venom Lip Gloss. Um, I kind of had thought that this was going to be a liquid lip. I don't know why. I don't know if I just read it wrong or what I did. It's gorgeous. It smells so good. But I have to show you. What it looks like when it's layered, it almost has like a dual chrome. It, it does, it has a dual chrome flip. It's absolutely gorgeous. It, it has like a, it's like a brown base almost with a um, 
burgundy and green kind of flip. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it is very difficult to apply evenly to the lips. I can get a pretty good swatch on the arm, but on the lips, it kind of slips and slides around. Um, I have, I think, um, I think it's mannequin. Yeah. The mannequin liner I have under that and I just kind of filled the whole lip in with mannequin just so that it has a little bit of a base because it just does it slips and slides around so, oh um, Jeffree Star mystery boxes are back for Halloween um, and I have a lot of things that I'm gonna be telling you about that. So I don't know if you've seen that already or not. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I definitely recommend the Forest Sing um, palette and highlighter. I love this, but I it slips around a lot. So I'm not sure if I love that it that much, but if it comes in the set, sure. Why not? If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Please hit the subscribe button, like this video, share this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.